you are sharing Raymond, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Luca, thanks for your answer. Uh, I'll send you. Uh, yes. I'll send you the uh, what I sent to Maggie, and uh, and I'll send it to along to Raymond also. Yes. Oh. So the abstract and the title for for next. Talk. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. You forward to Maggie already. So yeah, maybe just do send it to me then because I can upload it on our website. I guess maybe Maggie is already taking care of his uh, Sayama advertisement. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I have the information for the. Uh, okay, great. The so it, I can just put it on our Google website.
session, maybe we start now, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, so we are very happy today to have po Professor Xiao Qin Zhang to give us the talk. Uh, professor Zhang is a professor at Shanghai Jiao Tong University in China. She received her bachelor's and master's degrees from Wuhan University in China and then her PhD degree in applied mathematics from the University of Southern, South Brittany in France. She worked at the University of California, Los Angeles as a chem assistant professor from 2007 to 2010. Since 2010, she joined Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Her research interests include mathematical image processing, inverse problems, optimizations, and applications for medical imaging and data science. Today, she will talk about stochastic primordial splitting algorithms for convex and non-convex composite optimization in imaging. So now let's welcome uh, Professor Zhang, okay. Okay, thank you, Raymond, for the introduction. And uh, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting me to speak at this uh, uh, occasion. And uh, it's a really a great pleasure for me to hear. And also, I uh, appreciate a lot uh, for this uh, uh, great events organized during this very difficult time. And uh, actually, you see a lot of friends in the audience. So it's very nice to see all of you. Uh, so today I will be sharing some uh, recent work with my uh, two of my students, Yanan Zhu and uh, uh, Feng Miao Bian, and also uh, Dr. Liang from Queen Mary University of London. So uh, we started with this um, uh, background and motivation and talking about why we will be interested in this problem. And also I will present two pieces of our recent work. One is on this stochastic PDFP method for no smooth convex organization, and another one is a, a stochastic ADMM for no convex problem. So everybody hear me well? Uh, okay, so yeah, we're yeah, interested. Yeah. In, okay, thank you. Uh, we're interested in this type of uh, composite organization. As we all know, this kind of model arising in imaging and data science. Uh, take this kind of sum of two functions, f and g, composed with some linear, linear operator. And uh, here, we are uh, particularly interested in the case that f can be written as the sum of uh, uh, a bunch of uh, function. And this is uh, uh, in the case of uh, data science. And also, both f and g can be either convex or uh, non-convex or different differentiable or not, okay? So this is very general formulation with the interest. So uh, some typical example from imaging and data science, uh, which is this well-known sparse regularization models with uh, data fidelity terms and penalty terms. We know that we have this uh, uh, data term, which can be, we have observ observ observation data, we can be written as, uh, this can be written as a uh, sum. And the second term uh, is, uh, um, uh, second term refers to some sparsity, okay? So this can be convex or non-convex. In the setting of a uh, regularized uh, empirical risk minimization in uh, machine learning, uh, expe especially like a lasso problem in graph guided uh, uh, lasso loristic regression or SVM, we will be, there, there will be a matrix B involved. In general, B can be uh, some so-called uh, uh, covariance matrix, uh, inverse covariance matrix, precision matrix. So the sparsity is um, uh, is desired in under this transformation of a uh, 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 precision matrix. So uh, which imply this conditional uh, independence. And some basic uh, example uh, is like uh, this uh, TVL two type of uh, regularization. We have a uh, uh, least square data term and also L1 minimization term, okay? And so, so this can be written as a sum. So this, we have a N data. So we can be, this can be just divided by one over N. So we will arrive this formula of the sum of some function phi. 
So the, uh, there are many works on, along this line. So uh, mainly uh, the difficulty coming from this non-differentiability, possibly non-differentiable and high dimensionality and non-convexity. And uh, uh, we all know that the first order method are uh, quite popular because um, uh, it's, uh, it's allows to explore separate structures in the data, okay? It's a, a driving force for many applications. And uh, here is a short list, a partial list on uh, all kinds of uh, efficient algorithm, uh, including operator, all kinds of operator splittings and possible, possible gradient method, Lagrangian and ADMM and PDAT, et cetera, okay? If you, and and uh, we are particularly interested in the case of uh, a stochastic extension. In the st uh, stochastic, stochastic case, we aim to use one or small portion of data. Uh, this is uh, uh, in the case of um, nice scope problem. There are also many existing work ex extending deterministic splitting method to this uh, stochastic setting. For example, POSMO uh, SGD, POSMO SVRG with the virus reduction, and also the uh, so-called stochastic PDAG and uh, all a lot of variants of stochastic ADMMs. And here again, some, uh, uh, some, some of them are listing here, ADMMs. And for many variants of ADMMs are actually uh, uh, proposed in the setting of, uh, of machine learning. And actually, as, as far as we know, there are a few of them applied in imaging. Okay, this is also um, one motivation why we are interested to investigate the stochastic extension of speaking method for imaging particularly, okay? There are two of them uh, based on PDAG, the stochastic accelerated primordial method. And another one is this uh, stochastic PDAG. Uh, this is uh, quite, it's a slightly different uh, in the, uh, it's not exactly from the point of view of stochastic gradient, okay? Uh, so here, I would like to uh, give you a um, rough idea how the, uh, how the convergence analysis uh, uh, perform. For example, in general, we will study for the case like general convex or with condition as uh, strongly convex. So in, uh, with and without variance reduction, we may arrive with different uh, uh, convergence order. In general, without converting, without variance reduction, we might only have like one over square root of k. And in the strong convex, strongly convex case, we achieve, we can achieve like one over k. And for uh, together with the variance reduction, uh, we might arrive at a linear convergence. Okay. So our goal here is also to study and propose an algorithm which can achieve the best or uh, uh, the best convergence rates as we can. So the first algorithm we are uh, interested in is this so-called uh, stochastic PDAP algorithm. Uh, so uh, in this setting, we uh, concentrate on the case of convex, okay? So in this scenario, we have both F and D are convex, okay? But they may not be differentiable. So we have this different type of primordial formulations, for example, for ADMM, ADMM is basically based on this uh, augmented Lagrangian form, okay? This is Mimax problem. And for both PDAT and PDAP algorithm are based on this uh, Lysinger transcendental uh, duality, okay? So these two functions are, are, are different in the, for the case of AD, ADMM, we actually have two primal variables and one dual variables. And for this uh, facial duality, we have one Primal and one deal, okay. And uh, to to give you an idea how the ADMM are applied for this kind of stochastic setting, in uh, this uh, so-called stock ADMM, uh, apply on this aug linearized augmented Lagrangian, okay. And so by the linearization, now we can uh, take a take a stochastic version of this gradient, okay. So it is exactly here. And uh, so the sub problem is given by this one. Now, uh, in general, we assume the sub problem with this possible term with G with respect to G, for example, like L1 would be easy problem. Okay, so the main computation cost 
maybe on this inversion of this uh, huge matrix, it could be, for example, like uh, as I mentioned in the uh, coverse matrix, inverse coverse matrix, uh, if, if we have a lot of future high dimension uh, statistic learning problem, this actually can be a huge matrix. So this could be a uh, not could be not easy to solve. So uh, in general, this stochastic ADMM involves some inner iterations, which we do not like very much because we do not have a clear stopping criteria and also error analysis, especially in stochastic case. And also um, uh, it's not very straightforward to extend this formulation to multi-blocks. And uh, of course we always have a parameter tuning so uh, our motivation, motivation uh, is based on an algorithm we proposed in 2013. Uh, so based on this kind of uh, straightforward gradient computation on the, so here I'm presenting this uh, deterministic case, okay? So the gradient is done by on directly on this F. So of course here we have this uh, smoothness on F. And, and then involving this uh, possible term in uh, again a uh, uh, matrix vector application. So this this is uh, an algorithm can be reduced to uh, PGM the possible gradient directly if B is identity matrix. And also there are some uh, convergence uh, guarantee and it was also explained, extended to uh, multi blocks and uh, th three blocks. So the the advantage advantage of this algorithm is that we do not have any uh, inner iterations. So, and also it would be, uh, it's very natural to extend this to a uh, stochastic case by replacing this uh, full gradient uh, with a, a batch gradient, okay? That's, that's the first algorithm we consider. Uh, by replacing the, the full gradient with a batch gradient, okay? A batch gradient and the step size we consider as this vanishing a step size with, with a one over k alpha, okay? Um, and we uh, investigate convergence under some conditions. Uh, for example, under the assumption uh, here, I have to say the, it is a little bit strong because I assume fx is, uh, uh, is uh, strongly convex. And uh, the second assumption is quite a standard for stochastic algorithm. So the, the, the sum, the each of them, it will be a uh, uniform bounded, okay? And uh, so uh, under this uh, vanishing step size, we can get this uh, convergence under expectation in the, the sense of expectation. And also we can, uh, if we have uh, one more assumption on the matrix B for row rank, okay? So, so for row rank, we will get uh, also this um, one over K convergence if alpha equal to one, okay? Alpha can be between zero and one. Basically, that's uh, the uh, the best uh, the optimal convergence rates we can get in the case of this uh, 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 strongly convex case. Okay. And uh, in terms of uh, difference to the previous algorithm, we uh, take this example. Okay, this is this is typical example in imaging in image restoration. Okay, TVL two no, TVL two models. Uh, so if uh, if we apply this stock ADMM, uh, we can replace this gradient by, by this uh, also the stochastic gradient in uh, ours like this one. So you see we here, we do not need uh, any uh, sub, sub problem solving. And uh, if we apply this algorithm to uh, machine learning problems, we, we also real, uh, notice that uh, in the case that this, uh, uh, in terms of uh, this is this uh, example, this uh, graph guided SVM problem, okay? And uh, we, in terms of training accuracy as N, we achieved the pretty similar accuracy. But in terms of test accuracy, uh, we will arrive, this, uh, this proposed SPDAP, we arrive the higher testing accuracy much faster, okay? Uh, so is, this is a case that where we actually do not require high accuracy. Uh, we, we did uh, quite a lot of tests on this uh, data problem and it seems to work all the same, uh, similar behavior. And the, uh, but uh, for the case that we require high accuracy, like in image, actually we consider another one, which is so-called this uh, virus reduced uh, PDAP. 
So uh, for this one, we propose two, uh, two different uh, schemes. One is for strongly convex. Uh, so we have a, a virus reduction uh, inner iterations here. So in, in the inner iterations, uh, we, uh, we do this virus reduction. And for the outside here, we take the uh, average of uh, uh, inner iterations. Okay, so this X tuta and V tuta, both uh, PIMO and VAR and, and dual variables. For both of them, we need to take an average and outside we use this average to continue with the uh, outer iteration. And for general convex, we actually uh, propose another scheme, which is slightly different. That's um, we actually continue using this uh, uh, the NAS estimates without taking average. Okay, we continue using this. Uh, so this inner iteration is doing this variance reduction. And uh, so, uh, of course, the reason we why we need these two different schemes is also uh, for the convergence analysis. For right now, we 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 can only do this uh, convergence analysis based on these two different schemes. Uh, so the convergence is achieved based on this uh, uh, breakman distance, okay, or uh, the primal breakman distance and, and dual breakman distance. And uh, under the, the strongly convex assumption on uh, one of them, okay, so if phi i of x, so this is uh, the ingenious data term. This data term has a Lipschitz continuous gradient and a strongly convex. And uh, if one of the following satisfied, that means if the, the, dual, the dual of G, as a conjugate of G is also strongly convex and B, B transpose, so B is uh, actually full row rank, then uh, uh, actually stronger, okay, equal to identity, then we get this linear convergence, okay? So this is linear convergence is achieved under strongly convexity. And this can be also, uh, reduced to, to this uh, uh, pox, pox gradient, a stochastic Cosmo gradient method with SBRT. And under the general convex case, uh, uh, the scheme is uh, different, okay? Uh, so we know that the scheme is different and uh, the convergence rate is also one over K. Okay? So one over K with, uh, with a general convexity. So both we, we achieved uh, at least uh, so far, the best uh, optimal optimal uh, convergence rate. Uh, now let's see some example. The first one is still on this uh, data problem. Okay, on um, this data problem, and we uh, look at this uh, logistic regression problem uh, in terms of uh, 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 a graph. Okay, so this graph is obtained by this uh, inverse covariance matrix. And we compare this to several several ADMM type method. Uh, we have these two data sets. So, so we have a huge number of n. Okay, so n is huge. But here the the, the x the size of x is actually is not that that big. So this is the number of features. And we uh, have this uh, behavior compared this P PDAP means the deterministic one, okay? SPDAP is the first one without variance reduction as SVRT is uh, 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 with, with uh, variance reduction. And the other three, uh, three type of ADMM. One is also with a SVRT, with a variance reduction. So we can see uh, that's uh, SVRT, PDA, uh, PDAP, in terms of time, still have some advantage because we uh, relative error decrease rapidly uh, in a shorter time compared to the others, okay? And also, uh, this is what two different data sets, okay? Both have the same behavior. And uh, uh, if you compare the stochastic one with the deterministic one, this PDAP is actually the, 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 the slowest one. Okay, uh, for this uh, last data set. And we apply this prop, this algorithm to 3D CT reconstruction. Uh, so we know in general, a 3D CT reconstruction takes a lot of time because of uh, prop, the size of problem is huge. Uh, for this uh, particular example, we uh, did a simulation with uh, a detec detector plane this is 3D, okay, this is a 2D plane and number of viewer is uh, this uh, six, this number. 
and the image to be reconstructed is uh, this size. So, so in this case, uh, both both uh, the number of data and the number of feature are huge. Okay, both the uh, large scale problem. And um, we uh, figure out we actually tried this problem on two different type of uh, GPU card uh, to see how they perform in with different different uh, resource of uh, computation. So we find out that in the in, if we have a good uh, this Titan Titan RTX with much more is more advanced uh, GPU card with more cores and also memories compared to the second one, which is used in a PC machine. Uh, we can see uh, actually there are less advantage uh, using stochastic algorithm compared to this one because um, this one is PDAP, okay, so deterministic one, okay, so it's slow compared to other stochastic ones. But see here, we see if we have a powerful uh, GPU card, actually uh, deterministic because it's already can be can be done in parallel. So you can be uh, using in parallel. So uh, so the gain is uh, is much less. Uh, in terms of uh, different determines a uh, different stochastic algorithm, we find out if we require different accuracy of image. So right hand side, so these four images, four figures show us uh, if we require different uh, image accuracy. For example, here, we only uh, want a PS, we arrive at a PSNR equal to 22. And uh, if we using this uh, Titan card, uh, this, uh, this powerful GPU card, uh, actually the time are uh, relatively uh, similar. We actually with this SPDAP is even faster because we say this one, each step we get a, a we arrive at a more accuracy much faster. Okay, and um, for this um, for this uh, less powerful card, of course the difference is huge. You see the deterministic one takes much more time. And similarly, if we increase the accuracy, the requirement accuracy, actually some of them, like for example this SPDAP as n, we cannot arrive this accuracy. That's again shows that uh, this. Uh, uh, Without virus reduction, we can actually the accuracy is less, uh, is lower compared to uh, the the one with with virus reduction. Okay, both both algorithm with virus reduction achieves higher PSLR, which is uh, comparable to the full batch method. So full batch method is more accurate, but in these two case it takes more times. Okay, so that's uh, the. Uh, experiments on this uh, 3D city reconstruction. And we also show uh, as in as in the accuracy will be similar. Okay, so the, the SBRG PDAP and SBRG ADMM will achieve higher higher PSNR, but not that much. Okay, so the difference is not that high. But if we look at the separate uh, slice, this is 3D. So if you take out separate um, I particular some of the slides, we find that that's the SVRG and ADMM and the PDAP is still higher compared to other ones without virus reduction. Okay, and even higher than this PDAP. Okay, so that's it for the first part, uh, our uh, attempt for this convex problem. And the second part, I uh, will present uh, one attempt we tried with stochastic ADMM for non convex problem. So, uh, our work is motivated by some recent work on the non convex stochastic splitting method, particularly this, uh, this work proposed by uh, the author here, Briggs and all. And uh, they propose a novel stochastic algorithm based on this uh, PAM, okay, so PAM algorithm uh, for this. Uh, uh, alternating minimization, if we have uh, three terms, actually, if you have uh, two uh, separable ones and the one is a couple term, uh, couple term is smooth, and you can apply this um, uh, stochastic gradient on, the, on this uh, uh, cross term, okay? And we, uh, they also uh, use, combined with this virus reduction techniques, and then, um, Another recent work is uh, the so-called uh, inertial screen. So uh, apply this uh, inertial technique on the on this uh, you know, pump, the, the stochastic pump, in fact. Okay, 
And the third one is another one uh, using this ADMM, it's based on ADMM. So, so it's up to this, this two actually solving the same type of problem like uh, for PUM, uh, you have this uh, attributing uh, part. And the third one is on the same uh, formulation as previous one with uh, composite ones, okay? So they consider this uh, STD type, which is called st uh, stochastic gradient and SVRT and SAGA for solving these non-convex problems. So let's take a look at this formulation. Uh, so for this non-convex stochastic ADMM, we are uh, considering this formulation. So H, okay, sorry for the change of notations, but still two terms. So H is a sum of, uh, of this uh, uh, HN functions and uh, A is still a linear map, map and X, uh, this is both H and F are not convex, okay? Are probably not convex, okay? Um, so the non-convex uh, stochastic ADMM we are considering here, uh, take this form. First of all, we, we do this uh, minimization uh, with respect to Z. So we have this uh, augmented Lagrangian term. Uh, and uh, for the X problem, uh, we actually we actually did uh, uh, this gradient, okay? So we do this uh, gradient descent so, so that we can replace the full gradient by some stochastic gradient. And then we have this uh, dual term, okay? Dual, dual uptake. So the, the whole point is to consider different type of uh, uh, gradient of estimator for this uh, SADMM. So we consider two types of uh, 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 ADM, uh, stochastic gradient. One is uh, based on SAGA, another one is a uh, SARA type. So the so, so-called SAGA type of gradient estimator is based on this kind of updates, okay? Uh, so for the partial sets, we, we update on, if you belong to this uh, batch, okay, this batch set, we update it. And for the rest of them, we use the old full, full gradient part, okay? And for the SARA, it takes a, a different strategy. Uh, we use this uh, old one or new ones based on probability, okay, based on the probability. Uh, so uh, in terms of convergence, we have this uh, uh, assumption. First, we have for both F and H are some uh, proper closed function. So we do not have convexity here. And A here, uh, uh, we, require, we require A, this uh, composite operator to be subjective. Okay, so for row rank. And uh, the, the data, the so-called data term is still Lipschitz continuous gradient. Okay, has continuous gradient. And based on this augmented Lagrangian function, we can define this uh, stability kind of function as the convergence or the, the, the decreasing of function is based on this uh, uh, stability function. So we define this looks a little bit complicated, but basically is on the, uh, the augmented Lagrangian form and some of the iterates, the sequential error, and some of this part is on the sequential error and uh, some of them. And how, how uh, so basically this is constructed from the, from the proof, we need, we need this uh, function. So that's how it, it is constructed. We cannot know this in advance. Uh, so the, the tool we use to show the convergence is actually based on this various reduced gradient estimator proposed in, uh, in this uh, recent work of the group of uh, uh, Professor Schneider, uh, uh, Carola's group, and uh, basically, if you if we the the virus re reduced gradient satisfies this is three conditions. Okay, this is a uh, MSC bound and geometric decay in the convergence of uh, estimator. Okay, here I won't go to into the detail, but as long as you have these conditions and the assumption we had here. Uh, this uh, assumption uh, is a relative uh, uh, light. We, ha we, we, we be able to show the sequence generated by the uh, stochastic ADMM. We have this uh, decreasing of the energy uh, with, uh, in terms of this expectation, okay? So this energy is based on this stability condition, a stability function we define here, okay? This, uh, uh, and, uh, 
And the second one is the, the sequence, uh, the square distance of the sequential error also uh, go, go to zero because it's summable, case okay, summable. And we can also show if we use this SARA estimator and the SARA estimator for the gradient, we, uh, both case we satisfy this variance, variance reduced uh, uh, conditions. So that's how we, we arrive at the, the convergence here because uh, the, the proposed Saga and the SARA uh, gradient, we, we, we satisfy this condition and together with the assumption. Okay, so that's just um, uh, uh, kind of partial convergence uh, based on this uh, stability function. And under this uh, uh, KL property, so uh, KL, this uh, KL property is a very powerful uh, tool used for non-convex uh, splitting, especially for this uh, palm type uh, algorithm. So we here, we also use this uh, uh, property and together with this random version, uh, which was also used uh, in this same, uh, very same paper. And, um, uh, it can be shown under this uh, bounded convergence and uh, a kind of standard semi uh, algebraic function. And uh, we have the, uh, as eventually uh, we arrive at this scale in inequality in the sense of expectation. And uh, also, this would be uh, 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 we have this uh, property that if we have, we have this property and uh, have this assumption and this uh, variance reduced gradient together with this three, we have this uh, finite lens property, okay, uh, in expectation, which is usually used in deterministic case in, in uh, for KL property. And uh, also the distance uh, in expectation will go to, uh, the, the distance to the uh, solution set, okay, the critical point set will go to zero. Okay, so that's uh, for the theoretical uh, results. Now let's uh, take a look at the uh, uh, computational uh, uh, examples. The first example we tried is on this heuristic regression. Uh, so instead of using this uh, uh, standard KL divergence once we use this uh, sigmoid fun loss function, which is non-convex and smooth. And again, this A matrix is obtained by sparse inverse covariance matrix. And uh, for this uh, fourth standard test set, uh, graph guided, we, we uh, investigate the performance of this uh, four type of um, uh, variance reduction uh, algorithm. Okay, oh, as, as talk is not. So three type of uh, uh, variance reduced ADMM, okay? And uh, so we see the, the the, the one with the SARA is uh, among the, the, the best one, okay, for all four data. okay? So we see this uh, test uh, loss, and here we take a knock to see better how they are uh, different, okay? We can see with uh, this uh, SARA is the uh, fattest one uh, among, uh, uh, among this uh, four method. And this in terms of uh, epoch is a similar behavior. And now we uh, go back to the example with this uh, 3D CV reconstruction. Uh, again, the same setting on the imaging, okay, on the image. Okay, so we have this number of uh, projections and uh, this number of uh, resolution for the 3D images. So uh, here we, we do the, at the end eventually here, uh, they will arrive pretty close uh, PSNR as the end. Okay, so performance. So if you let them run until convergence, so the difference is uh, only like 0 0.1 in uh, PSNR. But uh, here we see that uh, uh, SARA will arrive uh, faster, okay, uh, increase faster in terms of PSNR, okay, for this example. For this type of example, we actually will try to for 2D, it's similar. And for this one, we, we use a, a Titan uh, card, so it's also a powerful one. And in terms of imaging quality, we, we see also take out some of the slides. We also find out that uh, uh, in terms of uh, individual slides, uh, the, the performance has quite a difference and not exactly the same. Although overall, the, the PSR are quite similar, but some of them, if you take out uh, uh, some slices, we find out that both SARA and this SVRG have a higher uh, SNR, PSNR. 
Okay, so I think I, I arrived at the conclusions. Uh, so we uh, studied two, two types of uh, uh, stochastic PDAP algorithm, which is a natural extension of PG, uh, PGM for this composite uh, optimization problem. And uh, in, uh, as, as far as we know, they were not much uh, study on the stochastic algorithm on, for imaging. Uh, particularly for image restoration problems. So that's, that's uh, why we are studying this. And uh, we also uh, uh, studied this stochastic ADMM with virus reduction uh, uh, in this uh, framework of uh, virus reduced gradient and KL properties. And uh, we, we see that stochastic algorithm uh, for, for image problems can have a lot of advantage, especially for large scale problems like these three. 3D CT reconstructions, and for the case that when uh, computation, computational resource is limited, just means if, if we want to do a reconstruction in a PC machine, we, we may not, uh, it might be uh, preferred to use this stochastic algorithm to have a quick uh, solution. And uh, we also show the, uh, the vast reduced uh, algorithm are very uh, useful for, particularly for image problem because they provide higher accuracy. Okay? You have a higher accuracy compared to the one without a virus reduction. And uh, in the future, we are looking to uh, the possibility of acceleration also uh, see its extension to other problems. Okay, okay, thank you. I've stopped here. Okay, thank you, Xiaoqin. So okay. now the floor is open for questions. And uh, you can either write your question in the chat box or you can just raise your hand and then I will unmute you. So maybe ask the first question. Uh, so so I missed the part why, why you need the KL property there. Uh, maybe you can say something. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not why, uh, yeah. So for this one, so we say if we have this KL property, so mm -hmm. you, you will have a better convergence uh, results because oh, without that, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, here we only have this uh, uh, square root of a square, uh, this uh, sequential error go to zero and decreasing of this uh, function, okay. Mm. And with a um, KL property, we'll arrive uh, the distance to the to the solution set goes to zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any questions from the audience? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Raymond, I may Eric. have a question. This is Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, thank you for your talk, uh, uh, Xiaoxun. Um, yes, thank you. I was just wondering, I'm, I'm not an expert at all in, uh, uh, in uh, optimization, but uh, um, you mentioned this hypothesis of uh, Lipschitz uh, uh, continuity on the, uh, on on terms the gradient. Of the, with the data, right? Uh, with the gradient, uh, yeah. So yeah, in general, in general, for this uh, stochastic gradient, yeah, we have this uh, assumption. Uh, is, is it somewhat yeah. realistic in, uh, uh, or um, how is uh, this hypothesis uh, uh, consistent with the fact that you may have data that is uh, that contains noise, for instance? Uh, yeah, like for the problem like uh, uh, L2 squared, so for sure there's no problem with that. Yeah, it has this, uh, for some function which may not have a, a global ellipsis continuity, sometimes we can also do local ellipsis. Yeah, okay. and there are other, other type of technique using Bregman type of a, a, a possible operator, but here we didn't consider it yet, yeah. But mm. lots of function uh, satisfy this uh, Lipschitz continuous gradient property. If it's not, uh, sometimes we can restrict to uh, uh, a kind of uh, local domain. Okay, thank you. Yes. Do we have other questions from the audience?
Yeah, somebody oh yeah so to... yeah Kara so uh, well you can go ahead uh, yeah to, uh, well hi hey yeah thank you for your talk um so maybe I, I missed something I, I'm not sure I understand how uh, you fit the um, um, city example in your framework if you could just explain that uh, city which one uh, city the, yeah city problem right yeah. Uh, it's here. Uh, let me show you the. Uh, yes, for this convex one. So here we just use one norm. Sorry. So this one norm. This is a typical CT reconstruction uh, formulation using this uh, total variation. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So if we apply this uh, stochastic PDAP, just this formulation. Okay. So here uh, we have a lot. So this is the main. Uh, difference with deterministic is we have uh, uh, many data or uh, many projections. So actually in our experiments, we use uh, one detector as one batch. Yeah. Uh, so we have a detector, you mean one is, line of view? Uh, this in 3D is uh, one plane. Like what one, uh, one view basically. Uh, yeah, yeah, one view. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 uh, wait. But it's, so uh, it's here. Yeah. Okay. So the, the thing that I just I don't quite understand uh, is that here you have the um, uh, the forward projector this A the um, AI yeah 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 it's it's, AI, yeah. it's it's inside your sum but uh, in your um, it's like sum over I of AI XI right? uh, X is the same uh, let me yeah, yeah, show AI you X over here yeah sorry uh, but AI too quickly yeah sorry but uh, if you yeah, if, if, example. if you look here. at your sure yeah, yeah yeah um but in your general in your uh, general formulation of the problem uh, the mm. linear operator is on the parts where you don't take the sum oh the the linear operator in my formulation is this uh, gradient operator in this case oh, it's okay. not on the first part it's on the second part okay yeah, it's a gradient. Okay, okay. So yeah, the, the gradient is your linear operator and don't consider yes. the forward projection. I mean, it's already inside uh, the data fit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right, thank you. Okay, thank you. So any other questions? Okay. Seems that uh, we don't have any other questions then. Okay. Uh, so maybe I go away. I went too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's okay. It's able to finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if there are no other questions, then um, we'll stop here. And thanks, uh, Professor Zhang, for this uh, very interesting talk. So we. We'll see each other next week. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye.